Hello, in this video we are going to see different kind of licensing which is possible in software. The free one and the paid one. So the free as the name says you can use it for commercial purpose without paying anything. And there is something which is available in public domain. Permissive license. So permissive license is a, a, a kind of licensing wherein you can utilize that license you can utilize that product and make your own product so let's say this is a library you use inside your application and you are able to bundle this whole application and you are able to sell it without revealing the source code of the end product so you may be using multiple libraries you use one of them permissive and then you are able to sell it as a binary without revealing the source code so that's a permissive where you are able to use it for free without revealing your uh, uh, source code. Uh, the attribution may be required for permissive, but it is not mandated that you have to reveal your source code also. Copy left is uh, 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 the one which is little restrictive. It is free but restrictive, meaning that uh, if you have used the copy left license, then you would have to make your product also as a copy left so you would have to retain the license so if in case you use a copy left which was open source the end product which you are going to make out of it this will also be open source so there is no proprietary now because it is available to everybody they can again use this whole product and make a new product out of it again sell it for commercial purpose so there is no proprietary ship if in case we are using a copy left because we have to make our end product also copy left but in the case of permissive you can utilize that specific license make your product and then you are eligible to sell it also without revealing the source code uh, commercial licenses we all know uh, so commercial license a proprietary license a specific firm is building some software that is a proprietary there are some trade secrets which you register they are also proprietary uh, uh, so they are not free they are meant for the proprietorship which is owning these licenses so uh, some definitions copyright copyright is an intellectual property and this gives the owner the complete right of that specific intellectual product pro property and it is represented by a c symbol if we see a copy left which we just described some time back uh, uh, this is this also makes the program free and requires all the modified so whatever if you modify something or you extend which means you make your own software utilizing this copy left then that would also be a free it's mandated that that also has to be a copy left so that's where uh, uh, this is restrictive license and you can see this is opposite of c just to make a, a mockery of uh, copyright so then we have already seen this uh, earlier i spoke about this earlier but if we have to see in detail public domain licenses grant all rights you have all the rights cc0 creative common zero this for other creative works but for software public domain unlicensed cc0 permissive licenses are which allow you to have the proprietorship which means you can use in closed source projects so closed source and open source open source is something whose source code is available for everybody to uh, see and utilize closed source is like your own proprietary code so these licenses are uh, permissive licenses if you are going for the gpl licenses you, they are like uh, copy left which means you have to make them also available so they cannot be used in closed source projects they have to be open source and they forbid the proprietorship so that's the difference here uh, now let's see some of the list so this is bsd licenses uh, tcp dump pytorch nginx django go uh, mit licenses angular I I ionic box 2d jenkins tcp dump these are permissive uh, in nature till apache so we can see tomcat swift kubernetes intellij log4j tensorflow now these copy left licenses are mariadb wordpress so you can utilize them but if you are modifying that source code you have to make it available uh, to the wider uh, audience so that's where you would see that because these are very permissive in nature these have uh, these are distributed widely and we would be seeing them 
in use in our multiple projects which are there and these are also in use but primarily we will not be writing a source code using any of these things or we would not be seeing these getting modified in our uh, uh, development software development for the simple reason that if you are modifying these things or if in case you are uh, you are uh, you you have to make it available to others also uh, so we can see all the frameworks which are there which are very prominent and very much in use they are primarily in these licenses because these are permissive licenses uh, I would place the links of various licenses which are there uh, they are all there in Wikipedia in the description of this video thank you very much